Hey folks, this is Alex the Big Guy here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. And here we have the opportunity for you to get an inexpensive Class A motor home built by Winnebago with the fiberglass roof for under $20,000. Almost unheard of during this season as so many people are handing down their campers to other people in their family or whatnot. Now being in 1997, of course, this isn't perfect. I'm gonna show you what all's wrong with it and I'll show you what all's right with it. First off, it runs and drives. That's a good plus. Got 72, just under 72,000 miles on the drivetrain. The tires are in decent condition. However, they are an 07 date coat. They don't have any signs of um, UV light damage yet. However, five to seven years old is the most I like to go out with um, tires. So you probably will want to put a new set of tires on. Now we have multiple spots with delamination. And that's where water gets behind here and swells up and causes a bubbling in the fiberglass. Obviously, you can see we've got one right there. We've got some going on right here to the left of the furnace, right there. And we've got some right here around the water inlet for the city water. There's also was a uh, leak back here and you've got some body separation here in the corner. They tried to attempt to fix it by putting a lag bolt through it. The um, problem is, is it's not sealed. You need to seal it up. Uh, the lag bolt might be holding the everything together, but it's not uh, not sealed. Uh, best thing for this is just going to be some of that um, white uh, flex seal tape and then caulk around it to make sure that the, the actual edges of it are uh, watertight with a vertical RV wall sealant. Now this has a fiberglass roof from Winnebago. That's uh, really nice because if you drive into a campground and you scrape it, it's not going to tend to have problems with it like your rubber roofs it could tear or puncture back here um, on the wall and you'll see on the inside is a little soft wall area but um, mostly it's just that corner that we just looked at there that needs to be sealed up and addressed you can kind of see back here you got some bubbling in the wallpaper and a little spot right there where something punctured it from inside and your storage area in here you also got a jack and some tools they're gonna go with it at one time it had an awning on it and the awning uh, this is that flex seal tape actually right here doing a great job of uh, of uh, closing that up and the uh, corresponding awning spot was up there they replaced it with a much shorter awning it does have an awning with it um, the um, the newer awning is, is much shorter which obviously they did for cost but it looks good it's a uh, fabrics in decent shape you got a piece of body panel here. There's some D-LAM right here. And uh, this is going to need to be screwed back in there and reattached. Other than that, front cap's in decent shape. Back cap's in decent shape. Again, it runs and drives. It does have air suspension. Uh, you've got two little um, spots up front you can add or subtract air. The folding step works, which is unusual for these. As strong as that's running, they must have replaced the motor and the board recently. Your batteries are located right under here. Now the previous owners have done a little bit of um, sprucing up to this, which is actually a pretty decent job that they did. First thing they did was they put down some nice flooring. There's, I couldn't really find any soft spots in the floor, but this would have had a mixture of carpet and uh, vinyl in it. And anybody that has uh, uh, RV knows that the uh, carpet is just uh, tough to keep clean in a small area. Now back here, um, you got a little bubbling from a soft wall here in the bedroom, but uh, definitely usable the way it is. Uh, no sign of the leaks coming in here. A lot of times uh, it, when water does get in here, you'll see that around this trim. Nothing there. They've repainted the bedroom. They took the over the wallpaper that would have been here. It would have kind of been a tacky older wallpaper. Did some trim work down the bottom. Kind of made it look nice. They put quarter round around the... Um, the bottom to make the uh, floor look nice. This model's got a pretty decent ba sized bathroom. And I'll step out here and I'll pan around so you can see it. And then it's got the shower over here. A lot of times you'll have leaks around here. It does have signs that it had little leaks around here, but this is solid. Um, a, a lot less uh, 
issues than you find in most of these. Now, just uh, for those who aren't aware, with this model, you can open this door and close this door, and then you have a solid one-piece uh, bathroom if you want uh, privacy to change. Um, the family, it was actually a family of seven that had this, and I'm not entirely sure where everybody slept. The kids were a little low, so... That's why they moved up to a Class C. Got lots of storage here in this area. You got some drawers down there. Uh, the fabric's in decent shape. This needs to be re-nailed back onto there. I've got the air conditioner going right now. It's pretty decently cold in here. Um, I've only had it on maybe 10 minutes, and it is really hot today. So I have a feeling the air conditioner is doing a good job. The generator does not run. It has 1,026 hours on it, and it makes a solenoid clicking sound when you try to start it. Um, I would say it definitely needs to be overhauled, but it's all there. The parts are there, and for those of you that have tried to find a generator in the past year, you'll know that that's almost impossible to find one, and when it is, it costs a lot of money. So this one already has one there. All you got to do is take it to a small engine repair or a generator store and have them rebuild it. Also, with the vintage uh, camper, you're going to get a vintage cathode ray tube television. That can be upgraded to a flat screen pretty easy. Just put a strip of wood down there, put your mounting plate on there. You'll have a storage area behind it, and you can put your flat screen TV right there. Okay, the 97 Brave here at Beckley's RVs in Thermont, Maryland. If you have any questions at all, call Alex the eBay guy, 240-405-7790.